Israel's Iron Dome is one of the world's premier air defense systems. It started protecting land-based targets more than a decade ago. Now the tech behind it is scoring kills at sea too. The Sea Dome is the naval version of the Iron Dome. It uses advanced radars and sensors to identify, track, and intercept aerial threats. It can be programmed to ignore threats that aren't going to hit anything critical as well. The Israeli Navy installed Sea Domes on its four modern SAR-6 corvettes and deployed the vessels to the Red Sea and Mediterranean. Corvettes are naval ships that are smaller and more maneuverable than frigates or destroyers and are typically used for patrolling coastlines. One of the Sea Domes on those corvettes scored the system's first combat interception back in April. It was an unmanned aerial vehicle downed over the Red Sea, likely fired by the Houthis in Yemen. Israel's SAR-6 corvettes are seeing plenty of action as the IDF continues to battle Hamas terrorists in Gaza, prepares for a larger fight with Hezbollah in Lebanon and Syria, while also defending against aerial attacks from the Houthis and other Iranian-backed proxies, not to mention Iran itself. With so many outside threats, Israel's air defense systems need to be exceptional. The company that makes the Iron Dome and Sea Dome systems, Rafale, says they each serve as critical layers in Israel's overall air defense array. And to date, the Iron Dome is responsible for more than 6,000 combat interceptions. Everything from mortars to rockets, missiles, and drones. And much like the land-based Iron Dome is able to intercept a host of threats, the Sea Dome brings that same sort of versatility in defending potential targets at sea. It can intercept rockets, cruise missiles, low-flying sea-skimming missiles, and of course, drones. But one of the most intriguing aspects of the Sea Dome, at least for me, it can also be modularized, meaning any vessel with enough deck space could carry the Sea Dome and immediately integrate a top-of-the-line air defense system into the ship without the need to punch holes in the hull or retrofit the deck. It's entirely possible, or even likely, the U.S. Navy will look to the Sea Dome as a possible solution for some of its own defensive needs. And in the era of great power competition with the conflict between China and or Russia on the horizon, proven, effective, and adaptable air defense systems are going to be worth their weight in gold. Which is why the U.S. Marine Corps bought dozens of Iron Dome systems from Rafale and plans to put them on as many small islands as possible in the Pacific. For more of our reporting on the Israeli war or the U.S. efforts to prepare for great power competition with China, be sure to check out the Straight Arrow News app today or go to san.com. For Straight Arrow News, I'm Ryan Robertson.